you guys welcome back to my channel happy monday and welcome to makeup monday as you can see by the title by the thumbnail and um, by looking at me <laughs> today's video is going to be a super simple and be fresh spring spring appropriate i posted this look on my instagram and tons of you dm'd me saying that you wanted to see this look and honestly it is easy peasy and you guys are gonna like it <laughs> Also because you guys constantly request for me to keep using the Profusion Festival palettes. This is the palettes that we are using today. I actually ended up using another shade from another palette, but now that I'm looking at this, um, you guys can actually use this shade, which you will see throughout the video what I am talking about. So yeah, I do not want to ramble on it too much because I actually have some company in my house and I need to hurry and go. Um, yeah, so grab your palette and let's get ready together. Since the eyes are so simple, we are actually starting with the face today. So for my primer, because I want really glowy skin, a very fresh, very dewy, very natural, quote unquote, looking skin. I'm going to take the Pure Cosmetics No Filter Blurring Photography Primer. So this says to apply to clean skin, moisturized skin prior to makeup application. Can also be added to your foundation or layered under powder highlighters for an instant boost of radiance and all over the body for a healthy glowing appearance from head to toe. That's pretty cool. I actually haven't tried this one. This is going to be our primer. So... you guys know that I like to go in with a stippling brush so we're just gonna move that product in I already color corrected because oh my god I had the worst night sleep ever I feel like my insomnia is <laughs> I say insomnia because I don't know if I have insomnia but I feel like it's creeping back I had been doing so good with my sleep and last night so today is sunday which is my normal filming days yesterday was my little girl's little birthday party her birthday is actually today sunday april the 7th happy birthday my love oh my god i can't believe she is six years old you guys i have a six-year-old um but yesterday if you guys follow me on snapchat or on instagram you guys may have seen that we threw her a birthday party and she had a blast and afterwards we went to my sister's house wow my skin is looking dewy okay so <clears throat> while i speak i'm gonna apply my foundation today i'm gonna go in with my bare minerals bare pro performance wear foundation in the shade peak on i haven't used this foundation in a while but this foundation is so good and it's like your skin but better mm, and i'm eating a sopa because i haven't had a chance to eat So yesterday after my daughter's birthday party, we went to my sister's house just for fun, you know, just to hang out and have a little grown-up time. And uh, we just drank a few beers. I mean, I'm not an alcohol person. Like, I literally had like two beers and then I was good because I actually ended up driving my man wanted to drink. And so obviously one of us had to be you know, the DD. And we stayed there not even that late. It was probably like close to one in the morning. I cannot hang anymore. I don't know if it's the age or if it's the fact that I don't drink anymore, but I was so tired. And then I swear the moment that my head hit the pillow, it was like, boom, I was wide awake. I don't even know how to describe how it feels that I don't sleep. Like I am in bed my eyes are closed but my brain is wide awake and i try i try to like silence my thoughts and just like relax and i can't i swear i kept looking at the clock because i was like why am i not falling asleep and then it was like three in the morning and then five in the morning and my ass was still awake so there's a the foundation the skin is looking nice and dewy now let's go in and apply concealer i'm gonna take my l'oreal infallible full wear concealer now the reason why i'm going with a 
thicker concealer is because obviously my bags are like really bad right now and I need to run to the store today and grab some Zequil to help me sleep because I was drinking that for a while and it really helped me like regulate my body and it helped me like just fall asleep on my own. I didn't have to even drink it that often. But I ran out of it and now here I am. And I hate, I don't want to be dependent on something to like put me to sleep. But then it gets to the point where it's like, I don't sleep, you know? I have one powder that I feel doesn't take away the dewiness from the skin. That has to be this Cover Effects powder. This is, oh, I just dropped something. It didn't break. <laughs> This is the Cover Effects Perfect Setting Powder in Translucent Lights. So I'm just gonna make sure we have no wrinkles or, well, we have wrinkles. I'm just gonna make sure my concealer isn't set in my wrinkles. Then I am lightly, whatever I have left on my sponge, I'm just going to run it over on my forehead. And the reason why I like to apply powder on my forehead was because I do have a little bit of like wrinkles right here and once I go like this do you guys see how wrinkly my forehead is if I do that before setting my forehead my foundation will settle into my fine lines and honey we're not trying to look old okay again keeping the whole fresh dewy looking skin we're gonna take this Too Faced pineapple sun paradise strobing bronzer this is more of an illuminating bronzer which is why it's perfect for this look and we're just gonna bronze up the skin as i was saying you guys i hate to depend on something to like put me to sleep i don't want to be dependent on a drug or a product to put me to sleep like i want my body to naturally go to sleep but i swear my brain just refuses to shut off and this is going to be maybe like a little tmi or whatever but the reason why i'm so scared of like becoming addicted to a product is because i feel like i come from or i can have an addictive personality unfortunately my dad had a lot of drug addictions and they say that sometimes that can be genetically passed on to have an addictive personality and i do not want to become dependent on anything but then again it's like my body is not doing what it's supposed to it's not going to sleep and thank you because you guys always always come through with the recommendations actually last night um i fell asleep in my daughter's room because she wanted me to excuse me, sleep with her. So I went to her room and I waited till she fell asleep. And then I ended up moving into my room about like four in the morning. And I do keep melatonin. Tons of you told me to try melatonin and I did. I took melatonin. It was probably like four or five in the morning, which is not a good idea. But that's how desperate I was to at least get some sort of sleep. And melatonin does nothing for me you guys i don't know what it is it doesn't really help me the only thing that knocks me out is the sequel and again i ran out of it and so i didn't have any last night and oh my god it was horrible but i'm not gonna let a little sleep put me in a bad mood it's my daughter's birthday i am actually trying to film this video as fast as i can because we're gonna have my suegros which are my in-laws um, they're gonna come over we're making some carne asada and we're just gonna celebrate my daughter's birthday again <laughs> I haven't used this highlight in a hot minute. This is the dose of colors mirame with Desi and Katie so we're just gonna pop that into our Cheekbone area And because we want our skin to look nice and dewy, I'm also going to apply that to the arches of the brow, so just right around here, and then here. Boop. I'm pretty much done with the face. Let's move on to the eyes. We're going to take our concealer, eyeshadow base, whatever it is. I can't find my P. Louise base. I don't know where I left it. So I'm just going to take my Tarte concealer. This is in the shade medium. Medium sand, actually. 
And this works just as good as my P. Louise base, honestly, because this is such a creamy and thick formula that it covers any like veins or discoloration that you have on your lids. You guys, this eyeshadow is going to be crazy easy. We're going into the festival palettes. And again, you don't have to have this palette, but it is a really good go-to eyeshadow color or eyeshadow palette. And I'm gonna take the shade right here, which is called Shell. I'm gonna take a large shader brush. This is by the brand Carity. It's the E28. And all I'm doing is literally is packing it all over the lid. I'm gonna take this huge brush. This is the Pro Makeup Round Eyeshadow Blending Brush by J Cat Beauty. This thing is huge. And again, I'm dipping into that color. And all I'm gonna do is just keep packing it on and I'm gonna bring it up a little bit higher. I'm actually gonna go back into the eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna pick up the shade Winning which is this one right here. And I'm just gonna pack that underneath the brow bone. Now you totally don't have to do this step, but because I had this palette and I did this look, I did mess around with this eyeshadow color and the shade Disco. This is also a Pro Pigment Palette by Profusion. Just any shade that is similar to this, it's in the same family as that purple. It's a, more of a pink lilac, but it still has those same tones. And I mean, again, you don't have to really incorporate this color, but I just felt like it added a little extra something. Do you guys see how that added just like a softer touch to that purple? And you also want to run this through the lower lash line. I added a little bit of like a colored or a cream based, what? A nude highlighter to the waterline. So now literally we are done with the look. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Koki Cosmetics Crystal Fusion Liquid Eyeshadow. This is in the shade. This is in the shade Supernova. I don't know where these are available or if they're available yet. But, oh my god, these are so beautiful. I'm going to add a little bit to the back of my hand. Do you guys see that color? Oh, yes, this is just going to make the inner corners pop. And it's going to bring so much life into this look. That way it's not so like flat and matte. Do you guys see how it just makes a difference? Now we're going to apply some mascara. And then we're going to pop on some lashes. I have here these like... 25 millimeter lashes which are crazy long these were supposed to be a launch from lash kitty but i honestly haven't heard anything so okay i have to like hurry up and finish because like people are getting here and i'm still trying to finish filming to finish off the look i'm gonna go in with a lip liner it's not italia are you guys so proud of me this is the makeup forever artist color pencil and this is in the shade whatever walnut and then for my lipstick, I'm going to take this Milk Makeup Skills lipstick, which is this right here. This has been like, oh, my go-to. And it's so creamy. And of course, we are going to add some lip gloss. These have been like my go-to glosses. The Wet n Wild Liquid Katsu. This is in the shade Caught You Bare Naked. And it's a very light pink. And this is the final look. What do you guys think? I absolutely love this look. I think it's like so fresh and so spring appropriate and it's so easy like your grandma can do this look, okay? So thank you guys so much for joining me today and thanks for hanging out with me and doing your makeup with me. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment and I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah.